I'm Seth Ferrosi. <laughs>
because this might cost you a little more. I find myself actually drinking and finishing it faster than other intro workouts because it, Seth, <laughs> it's a grower. Once again, we have a solid, the flavor system is a grower. And so it sticks around with you a little bit and then it accumulates and then there it is, rainbow sherbet. They execute it perfectly, but it's not an overwhelming rainbow sherbet. We've reviewed other rainbow sherbets that are like, whoa, way sweet. And some people love that. Others, like, you know, like I said in the last video, a lot of people are trying to get away from a lot of that sweetness, a lot, a lot of that sweetener, especially if you want to like go through the, by the end of the, uh, by the end of the drink and it just gets better and better. And then by the end, you're like refreshed and that's exactly what they're going for. And so it shouldn't be big news, but it's just like, everyone's got so much sucralose in this. It's like, literally it's gotta be like half of that. Um, and I think that's, that's all. I don't see any HK here. So that'll make some people happy. And they're messing around like citric acid is the first ingredient. Malic acid is way on the end. So uh, this is a little bit different than a lot of the other companies doing it. So it's, it's just a cool different flavor system. All right, about the grind. So what we have here is six grams of the branch chain amino acid, leucine, isoleucine, valine. Now these were traditionally sold as the original intro workout supplements. And I do believe that they are good for endurance. Not all assess fans are doing endurance sports like I sometimes do and all that, but they are good for endurance and they're good for preventing muscle wasting. I do like to end, if I'm like along into a fast and I'm ready to like break it, might as well break it with some branch chains, but they don't necessarily build muscle. Any study you see um, by a certain, uh, you know, I'm not gonna get it. Any study you see by certain individuals that claim the, you know, 14 pounds of 10 pounds of muscle mass gained from branch chain amino acids, that's not, a, that's not a well conducted study. Branch chain amino acids alone are not as anabolic for building muscle. There's a lot more pieces that need to be played into and what you want for that on top of eating a ton of real food, you want, you, and the real food has it, is the, the full spectrum of essential amino acids. There are nine amino acids that your body cannot synthesize itself. You need to eat them in the form of food and that often comes from meat and eggs and dairy and fish and chicken and poultry and supplementation too. Not everyone wants to drink steak during the workout. Some of us do, but not everyone wants to. And that's where we have some fun with the essential amino acids. Now here's the thing though, we can get through this formula. The really good news, six grams of BCAs, good. Especially when we have extra stuff coming in the form of two and a half grams of the other non-BCAA essential amino acids, but we don't have all nine here. And, and I have to tell you a lot of times, and this is possibly why the supplement is tasting so good. A lot of times we like to, we like to, to kid around with other brands and joke around because there is one of those amino acids that's got sulfur in the middle of that bond and it smells like rotten eggs. It doesn't taste good. And it's called methionine and we don't have that here. Now I do need to minus a point because everyone else is trying to work around the methionine and actin sledge isn't, but this doesn't taste, <laughs> it doesn't taste bad either. So, so if you're going for taste, then you should be very happy with this. But if you are not eating enough of things with, meth with methionine in them or with sulfur in them, then this might not be the best supplement for you. If you're eating plenty of eggs or if you're taking, oh, look at this demo day here, which is the carb supplement. I'm still waiting to get my glucose monitor hooked up before we get into this. It's going to be fun. This has taurine, which has sulfur too. If you take the MSM joint supplement, the, the S in there stands for sulfur. There's sulfur in there. There's lots of ways of getting sulfur, but a lot of people in America are depleted. Now, a lot of these EAA supplements only have 25 or 50 milligrams of it anyway. So is, is losing a biggest deal in the world? No, but I do have to call it out for what it is, whether or not we are affiliated with Action Sledge and have a possible price ball coupon. I'm not sure by the time you watch this video, gotta say so. So that's the one drawback, but at the same time, two and a half grams of the other more anabolic essential amino acids is a very good thing. That's a big deal. So we start off with lysine and that's oftentimes, and that's at 750 milligrams. And that is one of the two amino acids that also helps with uh, the anabolic signaling, the mTOR signaling, and is oftentimes uh, kind of like forgotten about. It's also a ketogenic amino acid, just like leucine. So leucine and lysine are the two that cannot convert to blood sugar. So any like the, the, you know, the low blood sugar folks like myself, we like to see high amounts of leucine and high amounts of lysine. Don't want to take like, infinite amounts, but at the same time, it's good to see high doses of these. Now leucine is always going to be the, and that's a branch chain amino acid. I'm kind of jumping around. That's always going to be the most anabolic. It's going to be the most mTOR triggering uh, anabolic of the essential amino acids. It's still the driver but it still also needs the help from all of its friends. 
and that's why we want to talk about all the other EAAs. And uh, so lysine is also one of them. And then threonine is the other. So we have 750 milligrams of these two, and that's uh, and that's both a good dose for the anabolic side of things. And you gotta you gotta leave it to Seth to go after the mTOR stuff more than anything else. After that, we have histidine, 500 milligrams. Now, if you've ever taken beta alanine and get those tingles and everything, beta alanine helps you produce more carnosine, and that carnosine is what helps buffer out the lactic acid. What's cool about the uh, getting back to the hydraulic here? This is stim free. Not all the stim free supplements have beta alanine in it. This one does, but beta alanine, the pathway you're taking here when ingesting it, in order to make more carnosine, you also need to bind to histidine. So if you're low on histidine, you're gonna be hurting on the endurance side of things as well. So it's good, again, always gotta eat a lot of good food and everything, full steaks and amino acids and all that stuff with a full EAA spectrum, but when training, I have no problem having a little bit of threonine and histidine as well. So I want those other things on top of the BCAs. So that was histidine. So after that we have 250 milligrams of phenylalanine, which is a feel-good amino because it gets us down to the tyrosine, which helps us create a little bit more dopamine and a little bit of feel-good neurotransmitters to give you maybe just a tickle of that fight or flight kind of rush response, a little bit of the good mood boost and everything. And so that's one kind of pathway. This, this follows along the dopamine style pathway. And you, once again, this amino acid cannot be uh, created on its own. So you can take more tyrosine seen later down the path in your, in your focus supplements, which, oh, by the way, we have two forms of that here. See how things are kind of coming together? I like what Action Sledge is doing. So you can take more tyrosine down the other pathway, but then you're going to miss the other pathways that phenylalanine uh, plays into as well, and that, uh, because it is an essential amino, you've got to have it in the diet, and that's going to give you a little bit of kick of focus from the little bit of kick of dopamine, but you know, we're coming down the path and everything. So either way, 250 milligrams, Really good. The, the, the doses here are all pretty solid. We're not like falling off until we go to the zero for methionine and that's already been discussed here. So the last one, and this might freak out some people, don't be freaked out. I've ranted about this way, way many times. Tryptophan, 250 milligrams. Now a lot of people can, you know, talk about the whole turkey thing and the tryptophan and you fall asleep. No, you fall asleep because you overeat and you're watching boring football. That's why you're falling asleep on Thanksgiving. But 250 milligrams of tryptophan, this follows the pathway to creating more 5-HTP, which then follows the pathway to getting you to more serotonin, the happy hormone. This is the, the feel-good, happy hormone on the other side of the dopamine reaction. So we have, when you have all the essential amino acids, you have many different pathways of feeling good. And this is why people who don't eat a lot of protein, that's why they're having problems. Wink, wink, you know, like, hello. Uh, so anyway, so the tryptophan is here. This is a larger dose than most companies will play with. It feels good, and it is a smart play, and it's not gonna make you tired. See, a lot of people are like, okay, well the serotonin can get converted to melatonin, and then that's going to make you sleepy. Yes, if it's, if it's dark outside, if you're sitting here under lights, you're not gonna be getting sleepy all of a sudden. Like melatonin doesn't work that way. And so yeah, down the pathway are some sleep helping uh, hormones, and I could maybe argue that down the pathway, this might be a decent thing to take before bed. I like, I, yeah, I like to train with these. And so that's my story on tryptophan. It's a great amino acid, and it often is neglected. People fear it. People talk about turkey. Turkey doesn't have the most tryptophan anyway. So it's just like, this whole thing of it making you sleepy is stupid. Maybe if you take a whole bunch before bed. I'm not worried about it because we're not going to be kicking up so much melatonin. They're going to fall asleep in the middle of your workout. No, not going to happen. So anyway, that's where we have. Then we have two and a half grams of glutamine, which is, you know, I think at this point, everyone understands that this is a recovery agent. It's immune system booster. If you're not feeling good and this is the only glutamine you have in the house, this might be a good way to like kind of you know, try to help fight that cold and everything. But in general, it's usually here for recovery and everything. I'm not really the biggest person on glutamine. A lot of that is because, you know, it is based on bro science. Oh yeah, like it's the most abundant amino acid in your system. So, you know, maybe uh, if you drink more of it, you're gonna, you know, have more amino acids in your muscles and get bigger. It didn't never, never, never worked out that way. So we're not gonna say that, but a lot of people do feel better immune-wise and recovery-wise with glutamine and that's why it's here and you know it, it kind of tastes okay so if it's playing into the flavor system and some people don't care about getting it in then that's fine now if you're a keto dieter or if you uh, are very very immunocompromised then you might not want it but that's not most accent sledges people i'm thinking so that's uh that's the story with glutamine after that we have raw coconut water concentrate 
And what I like here is that they're showing us that we're getting some minerals in. And so we have magnesium, we have calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. Not in crazy doses, two, three, one, two percent RDA, but usually you don't get all four of those in the aminos. And I have to believe that they're coming from the actual coconut water concentrate because we don't have any other ingredients maybe a dash coming from beetroot powder, but we don't have any other ingredients that are supplying, uh, that we're supplying electrolytes and minerals. A lot of times you see coconut water on the label, and then you don't see any electrolytes, you don't see any minerals up top. So it's like, okay, well, is that a bad coconut water or are you just not labeling things properly? Well, here we are getting a little bit here. And so I, I like to think that they're measuring it and um, they did get you know some good doses out of the whole gram of coconut water. A lot of times you see 500 milligrams of coconut water, this has a whole gram. So it could be, uh, it could be that, and so it's supplying the mineral content. A lot of people are deficient in these minerals. And honestly, if you're not eating enough salt and you need more, 2% probably ain't gonna cut it. So if you're really like feeling drained and you're feeling tired and you haven't figured out why, and you're just like taking stim after stim after stim, one of the many things to look into are the minerals like this. Uh, this is gonna help just like if you're at normal baseline and you're training hard and you're sweating some, you're gonna get a little bit of help from this. But if you're like way depleted, you gotta go further. After that, this is uh, where we have an extra gram of betaine. And betaine, you, Seth loves, this is just a gram, so two and a half grams is the actual clinical dose for the muscle strength, power, uh, and actually like fat loss in women, like all sorts of clinical stuff at two and a half grams. We don't have that, so I'll of course disclaim that. But this is one of those cell hydration, hyperhydration, osmolite ingredients that helps people, uh, that, that doesn't help the people, it helps the cells transfer water amongst each other. And a lot of people, like the big old boys like Seth, they get the swell, they get the swole kind of pumps from this but it means you got to drink enough water with it and it might play well with the other ingredients like in the carb supplement here where we have glycerol and taurine so kind of pulling that whole stack together if you know what I mean here so yeah, and so it works a little bit like creatine in other ways as well. So yeah, people do get strength and power out of it, but at a bigger dose. So keep on the lookout for anything else that might have betaine in it, because a gram is good, and you might get a little bit of pump if you drink a little enough. But you might want a little bit more if you're chasing after every last drop of clinical gains you can get. Big fan of this ingredient. It's it's, it's starting to seem like for me, in, at least in terms of pre-workout, it's a bit of a difference maker for me. And um, I don't know, maybe I haven't eaten eat enough vegetables because you get betaine out of spinach. I usually love spinach and everything, but can kind of been tinkering with a little the higher meat consumption. Anyway, betaine, really good stuff. And then finally, the thing that I'm actually most excited here is ornithine. And we started looking at some ornithine research. And some of it is admittedly dosed higher than, we have one gram here. And some of it was dosed at two grams a day uh, with like six grams used on like the testing date. But this is a massive, massive fatigue reducer for some people. And the reason why, and this is really cool stuff, when you, so when you like have any muscle contraction, the whole biochemical pathway, eventually you're producing ammonia. Just like we have lactate and all that, you also are producing ammonia, which is you know, not gonna be exactly pleasant. It's gonna mess with the pH. It's not gonna be pleasant for your muscle tissue to have too much built up. Well, we, uh, you know, the body loves to achieve homeostasis and we have ways of pushing it along as well. And with ornithine, what you can do is the ornithine actually binds to the ammonia and guess what you get when you make that, when you make that chemical uh, reaction happen? You get citrulline. So not only are we getting rid of something bad, we're actually using it to produce something good. And that's what's awesome about ornithine. So it, what happens is if you take enough of this, you actually get a reduction of fatigue. And if you take a monster amount of it, you get a monster amount of re fatigue reduction uh, according to some research. But overall, I think a gram a day is, this is an excellent play here because a lot of people uh, just kind of forget about it. And if you're like training as hard as someone like Seth and you're feeling lousy and you're like, you know you're like strong enough to go further, but at this given moment, you're not strong enough to go further and you're just like, you're just getting a little bit too wasted a little bit too quickly. This is one of many ways, but this is one way that maybe you can help, you know, get a little bit of help. So you have like beta alanine with one pathway, but the ornithine is a similar but different kind of strategy. Why not try both? And that's actually what we have here in the grind, especially if you're stacking with hydraulic where it's beta alanine, and then we have some carbs and taurine. Like there's a lot of endurance plays here. So I'm not sure if Seth is doing like, you know, four hour arm workouts or anything like that, but this stack kind of plays into that a little bit. And that's what I like, of course, 
the costs do add up. And that's why you might want to try that coupon. We'll see if that's going to stick around forever. No guarantees, folks. No guarantees. So at this point, I am almost done. I might as well finish this drink right here. This is damn good. Mm. I got to try their other flavors. Like, I love what they're doing. It's... It's a different, <laughs> it's like these high sucralose supplements that get you like addicted in one way. This is like a low sucralose supplement that gets me addicted in a different way. I keep wanting more. And that's the problem. I can go through a scoop of this so fast that like today I was training with it. I went through a scoop of it within 30 minutes and I was like, dude, okay. I, yes, I, I should have said this earlier. I did get this tub sent for free. If I didn't get this tub sent for free, I'd be tearing through this thing like crazy. And you will notice though on this label, it does say we recommend two servings per day. Well, you know, of course they recommend two servings per day. Seth's going to do that to you. And if you're as big as Seth, he's going to be taking like four a day. Anyway, I do, do believe, though, that this has a special little flavor kick to it that might get you drinking more, but it's not the sucralose, and that's what I think is really cool. You're not going to get too much of that, but you do feel the flavor, and you actually taste the flavor, and that's why it's cool. So it's really exciting with uh, working with this brand a little bit because they're doing some sweet stuff. All the labels look different, but if you see anything that looks like this, that means it's a unicorn blood, and that means it is rainbow sherbet flavored. It is naturally flavored, but minorly artificially sweetened, but also naturally colored as we talked about the beetroot. So check out on that coupon if you're looking for uh, to check it out. We also, uh, I think they're also sold at Natural Body Inc. in New York. So what's up Steve at Natural Body? Everything coming together with Action Sledge. You can see we're starting to pull together this pretty cool stack with some stuff that uh, a lot of people forget about. So this is Mike Roberto, founder of Pricewell. This product is very, very delicious. It is a nearly full spectrum of essential amino acid, but I do have to take off that one point for no methionine. And as long as you're okay with that, then you should be very much okay with this supplement. And if nothing else, check out the citations and stuff. Eventually we're gonna have a blog post on this, but check out, uh, check out the research on ornithine and ask yourself if maybe this is something that you just wanna look into uh, outside of everything else that we talk about here. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you next time. Farm fed, F farm fed for the hardest workers in the gym. Welcome to Price Plow.